Well, just because you can see a boat doesn't mean to say you can go there. So it's been low tide, tide's coming in, and they're sitting on the sandbar. That runs diagonally outwards from left to right. Well, they'll come off when the tide comes in. It's soft, won't do them any harm. I'm just sure they're frustrated. Uh, work is starting here. Marsha is supervising. Well, they've escaped. I doubt they'll go that route again. So there is passage inside the bar or going out about where they are. And I just uh, reposition the truck so it's a bit flatter and things don't fall off the top. Well, there's actually a fair amount of stuff on there and it's quite heavy with the trunks of the giant birds of paradise. Sasha came out and supervised, has been for a swim. So the driver's clear. It's Friday afternoon, uh, there's rain around, forecast for potential heavy thunderstorms, a bit of an easterly blowing and still stuff to tidy up, so I think that's the order of business today. Alright, this is the east side of the house, uh, laundries through that door there, so we've got this down, uh, some windblown debris, so we'll make a start here. Oh, that looks a bit better. And we have this one to deal with. Well, it's down there now. Oh, and of course it's raining. Lovely. Oh, we've had thunder. Rain's been heavy at times. I give up. Oh, we've had thundery downpours and rain warnings further south.
Well, that's a much better outlook. So we had some heavy downpours uh, in town and south of us, causing havoc again. Northland's cut off from the rest of the country again. Uh, we were all right here. First order of business is finish loading the truck, take it to the green waste disposal, and then uh, probably boat. Load it up, just need to tie it down. Okay, it's tied down. Right, you need to stay home, puppy. No room in the truck, it's full of tools. Plan is some of that gravel into these depressions, which were left when they put the fibre. Uh, in and never compacted it when they filled it up. Not that we actually can connect the fibre yet, but at least it's got to the top of the drive. We'll do a bit more finesse than just dumping it in a pile. We use a shovel. So after rolling it, uh, that's good. Here's good. There's still a bit of a depression in the middle of the picture there, where all the leaves are. Right, well, I think that is absolutely fine. Well, the rest of it can go onto the ramp into the cutting. and spot X uh, for a fish so let's hope we have more luck this time. Oh, one right there, one there, one there. Oh, we're all set up now. Oh, no joy so far but it's a beautiful afternoon so I really don't mind. Tide's going out. Uh, I was just weed on it. Well, no joy. Uh, I think we'll uh, go and move ourselves to Paru Bay. We're supposed to have northwest uh, winds, so it'll be nice and sheltered there. Well, for some unfathomable reason, uh, we have true wind and apparent wind suddenly showing up. Uh, it's supposed to show true wind because I programmed the uh, NMA 2000 to Ethernet uh, gateway to do it, but this is only the second time it's appeared and I've had other things to worry about fixing. Oh, here's Parua Bay, that's Motu Kiori Island and 
there's the head of the bay there. Over there is the nook. Now there's looking into the nook. Mount Manaya, of course, and behind the Lynchlow out to the nook. Uh, the end of Manganese Point is disappearing behind Motu Kiori Island. Uh, the Pines Golf Course is up there, and uh, Headland Farm Park, which is on the northern side of Manganese Point. Is starting to appear. Manganese Point, uh, this side is Headland Farm Park, as I said, uh, we're on the other side. Parua Bay Village is up there, and Parua Bay School is just over the ridge, and that's where the boys had their primary schooling. Over here is the Parua Bay. Club rooms of the Whangarei Cruising Club with the Trailer Yacht Compound and we kept travelling light from there until such time as we sold it. Uh, the club also provides a park over private for the New Zealand Motor Caravan Association. Uh, then to the right is a public launching ramp and then further to the right is the Outboard Motor Club. Outboard yeah, motorboat club uh, which has uh, its own launching ramp and now there's the Coast Guard uh, they've just towed in a boat uh, back to Parua Bay launching ramp from somewhere out in Bream Bay so it's sponsored by Circa and Matthew worked at Circa in his school holidays for a few years in the design office and then later in their general engineering uh, department to get ours up for his uh, engineering honours degree. So here's the mooring area. Uh, they had a few boats uh, go ashore in the uh, cyclone uh, two weekends ago. Uh, despite the fact there are big buoys with five knots written on them, it obviously doesn't apply to some people. Okay, anchored Parua Bay. Uh, up ahead is the old wharf. I think they've closed it off because it's been deemed unsafe and they can't be bothered fixing it. And the head of Parua Bay is up there. Uh, the nook is around the first headland. The second headland is the eastern entrance to Parua Bay. And looking across past there to One Tree Point. <music> It's uh, 6.30 on Sunday. Uh, there is not a lot of wind forecast for today. Are we 
had a very heavy dew last night. The dinghy floor needs a, a little bit uh, more air pressure, so we'll do that. Oh, we're fair racing along. Uh, not. Uh, it's been quite overcast. Sun's come out again. Looks like the trailer yachts are going to race on. We've got the jib up, so it's not surprising we're not going very fast. There's also the Sunday uh, dinghy uh, races and learn to sail out. Right, it's the current plan, head to Moto Kaori Island and go ashore for a very short walk. Doesn't look like there's much wind out in the main part of the harbour. We're starting to head down the well, northeastern side of Motu Kiori Island. There's looking back to the head of Parua Bay. Trailer yacht race is underway. And we'll go around the western end of Motu Kiori Island and then anchor between it and Manganese Point and go for a walk up to the top of the old par site. Oh, we're getting there. Uh, so Motokori Island. Kori is the Maori name for the Polynesian rat. So I presume at some stage uh, someone noticed a rat. Uh, here's Manganese Point starting to appear. So shortly we'll furl the jib, motor around to anchor. There's looking across to the nook, up to the head of the bay, in Parua Bay Village, across to the boat ramps, straight ahead is Pines Golf Course and Manganese Point. Uh, we're sort of straight over there on the other side. Uh, there's a spit or sandbank that goes from here across to the Manganese Point shore uh, which is above water from half tide downwards tide is not a particularly good time to be walking around the end of Manganese Point. <laughs> 